Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Julia Vanishes by Katherine Egan. And this video is being sponsored in part by Penguin Random House, but know that all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on this book will be 100% my own. In this book we follow our main character, Julia. What do you know, the title is Julia Vanishes and our main character is named Julia. I would have never thought that that would have been the case. And Julia has the ability to go unseen. Now she can't fully disappear, but she can make people unaware of her presence. I actually really wish that I had that ability, it would come in handy when I go out in public and don't want to be seen. Anyway, this comes in very useful for Julia considering the fact that she is a spy. Now going into this book, I had no idea what this world was going to be like, so I was very eager to learn more about the world going into this story. It takes place in a world where magic has been banned. This is not necessarily the most original idea. We're seeing worlds a lot similar to this one all throughout young adult fantasy. And I'll admit, at first I was like, cliche alert, cliche alert, cliche alert. Then I kept reading. And I actually began to enjoy that aspect of the world. And I think part of the reason why that is is because it's tied to the main character in some way. And no, not just because she herself has magical abilities. I won't say exactly what ties her to the world, because hey yo, spoilers! I actually don't know how spoilery that connection is, but we'll just stop it right there. I will say that I did like how dark and rather cutthroat this world is. That definitely made it stand out a bit. You have things like home raids and witches being drowned. It's definitely a world on the darker side, that's for sure. Now let's talk a little bit about the plot and its pacing. I'll admit that I found the first chunk of the story a little hard to get through. Mind you, it is intriguing, but it just really takes some time for the plot to pick up. And I will say that's probably because this story had quite a bit of groundwork, and I feel like another part of it has to do with the fact that this is the first book in a trilogy. Throughout this book, you're given lots of clues and hints that kind of lead up to the reveals that take place, and it just takes some time for those things to get set in motion. But the payoff is definitely worth it in my opinion. One of the things that I enjoyed the most about this story was kind of the mysterious aspect to the story. There's lots of suspicious and mysterious things that take place throughout the story and that's definitely what kept me reading. Another thing is that I just really loved Julia's character and I loved reading about her abilities and kind of seeing how it came into play within the story because once I first found out about the story I was like ooh that's a really interesting ability because of the fact that she can't fully go invisible and how she can kind of just go unseen and I was really excited to kind of see how that came into play. The one thing that I want to point out about the story is that I see its potential. Like I said this is the first book in a trilogy, and I have a feeling that it's going to be one of those trilogies that just shows so much growth with each book, with the plot and the characters and the writing, because I do think that this is a great send-off into the rest of this trilogy. Lastly, I just want to talk about Julia's character. I did love all of the other characters, but Julia was definitely the one that stood out to me the most. I mean, we are reading from her perspective in this book, so that's probably why. She kind of has a very complex role within the story, because you're seeing two different sides of her. You're seeing the side of her that's a spy and that's putting on this disguise, and then on the other hand, you're seeing who she truly is. And it was really interesting seeing that back and forth. And I really enjoyed following her journey and kind of seeing her thought process throughout this story. And I'm definitely looking forward to continuing on with this trilogy. So those are all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Julia Vanishes by Katherine Egan. If you've read this book, you should let me know down below all your thoughts, opinions, and feels on this book. If you haven't read this book and you're planning to read it, let me know down below. I will also leave Goodreads links for this book, as well as book depository links to this book if you want to check it out. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew.